Hello friends, welcome to Germany Biotechnology channel. I'm Hira here. I'm doing my B.Tech Biotechnology third year. I have a doubt. It, it has been lingering on my mind. The thing is, bioinformatics, it, is a, it has become a part of our curriculum in engineering, um, biotechnology, if you tell about. So, we are from the biology background, but still, I have a difficulty in going with the computer programming and learning the language. It's so difficult, I feel, or I have set the mind, I don't know actually. I have discussed about these things, uh, even with so many teachers, staff like that, but I didn't get a proper idea or solution on that. Whether it is so important, bioinformatics, without any IoT or Internet of Things, you don't, you could not, tra you cannot travel in future, or career would be much important based on the programming skills or something like that. So I have a doubt still. So let's start from a scientist, Dr. Charles John Bosco is a great innovator globally, and uh, he's a managing director as well of German Biotechnologies. Let us hear from him. Okay, Hira, that's nice of you to have introduced me. It's not only you. Many students have the same question. Why I'm learning so much in BTEC? So much of information, so much of engineering. For example, when it comes to heat transfer, mass transfer and all that, I mean the biologists, they get really blown out. And they think, I mean, there were people who said, should I quit the whole course. Okay, anyway, we are not going to talk about those. Since your question is pertaining to the bioinformatics, let me talk about it. First of all, you should know what is bioinformatics. Bioinformatics is the storage of all the knowledge available on the biology. Biology is the mother. First of all, one should understand. Without biology, there is no biochemistry. There is no biotechnology or genetic engineering. Biology is the basis. Bio biology started with a lot of things, classification of animals and things like that. Then Robert Hooke found out what is cell and it was a car, but the LI cell they found out. Then later on, the nucleus, nucleolus and the DNA with Watson and Crick finding out the DNA structure and later on Sanger uh, sequencing the protein and DNA. The, the information started building up. Uh, simply volumes of book will not help. For example, let me tell you, if you are going to talk about the proteins, all the proteins available in human beings or in a rat or even in E. coli, how you have to do? You have to write the sequence. For example, you know there are 20 common amino acids. There are unusual amino acids are also available. Let's not talk. Uh, for example, the sequence goes like that. Alanine, glycine, tryptophan, tryptophan again, and then leucine, and then uh, cysteine. If I keep writing like this, it's going to be huge. So they thought, let us compress it. So first three letters of the amino acids, ala, yale, ala, is alanine, then tryptophan, TRP, like that, they started doing it. But still, they were not happy. Suppose you have, you need three volumes of book, now you can compress it with single letter code. A for alanine, G for glycine, W for tryptophan. And, and I, I will come to that, why they said W and things like that, that is not our, right now the discussion on the question. So, the information kept coming, you need storage and retrieval. This is where the computer science has given wonderful things. Who is not using computer today? You said relevance of computer, internet of thing? Definitely. I use an Android phone too. You all use today? Yes, we need to know about all these things. The computer is required. You have to type something on the word or you keep some simple database in an Excel file. I mean, even if you don't know what is SQL or MySQL, forget about all that. At least you need some database. You are storing. Without your knowledge, lot of things, lot of papers you read. Where do you store? You are storing in your hard disk. Probably different folders, classified. So this is my bioinformatics uh, information and chemical engineering is here in this folder and so on. 
So all these things are required for everyone today. Everyone uses computer. Which office doesn't use a computer? For a billing, they use computer. So these are essential and one needs to know. Yes. So when these informations are coming, they are all mostly experimental. So these experimental data, when you create in biology, like the sequence of DNA or sequence of uh, RNA, sequence of uh, uh, the amino acid, sequence of proteins, you require to store all these things because, and you know, the phylogeny, how, I mean, the rat and mouse are related, are they related, how much it is related in DNA, hemoglobin. So you need to compare. Suppose there are uh, 400 amino acids. And you want to find out how much they are homologous. Imagine one by one you start comparing. How ridiculous it is. How much time you will be spending. This is where the computer helps. These, these sequences are unique. So they can label it probably with a red or blue or green or whatever you choose. So they are labeled. This is where their homology is. These segments are conserved. These segments are not conserved. Is it not interesting? Yes, it is interesting. These are the information one needs to keep on gathering. And then how the uh, enzyme is acting or how uh, a, an antibody is going to bind to the antigen. How it is docking, a docking tool will say. Probably simple thing, for fun you learn science or bioinformatics. See in 3D, more, more. These are all three dimensionally you can see a molecule. See. Instead of two-dimensionally drawing something, now you have a three-dimensional tool. You can uh, move the enzyme in all the ways. Where is the active site? How the enzyme is binding? Where is the cofactor? If I have some inhibitor, a competitive inhibitor, how it is going and binding? Whether the, I mean, or you do not know something, a molecule, a biological molecule, or maybe a, a phytochemical, whether this can inhibit my thing, or it can work as a drug. Instead of doing in your laboratory, wet lab, wet lab they call, you can do it in the dry lab, that's an in silico method. So you'll be excited to see that even at least you can screen thousands and thousands of molecules, imagine within a few days. Then you should see in the wet lab, you should always go to the wet lab to confirm it. it is, you can create 2000 molecules on the, your computer, say having anti-cancer activity but probably even to check two and till it goes to clinical trial it will take several years that is true that is not that does not mean these tools are bad now i am coming to the specific questions should i read python should i learn c plus plus should i learn the algorithms this is where Probably the university and the people who are probably watching me, uh, they, they should, the syllabus committee should look into. Whether my, all my students should learn Python. Python is probably like a boa constrictor, constricting them. They feel breathless when they learn. They understand that. See, I can tell you something about the website development. You know why I am saying and you will understand that. Those days to do some website development. Initially, I was also a biologist and I don't know much about computer. I started learning HTML. So for example, if I have to give you a color for my font, I need to do, know what is called as hexadecimal code. I need to do that. Uh, it was quite difficult. Then later on, the computer professional or the software professional made things easy. There are two people. One is a developer, another one is a user. Don't get confused. So, if I have to develop a website, probably I want to have a profile, Dr. Charles John Basker. Okay, the name is there now. In a particular font and particular uh, size, particular color. I mean, I need to probably write it in two, three uh, um, uh, coding. Then only I can probably have the exact color whatever i want it's little difficult for a beginner to do with an being an expert you can always do that okay i mean what is the font font size bold all those uh, you know codes are there but i tell you the people have made it much much simpler now 
there is something called voice way. What you see is what you get. Just like a word document, you can type. Like a front page and things like that are there today, WordPress, so many utilities are there today. Wherein, I mean, you type, make your font, you choose the size, choose the color, everything. Whatever you are seeing on your screen, what is that is going to be there in your hosting. How simple it is. The code is automatically written. In fact, you can see what you have done, my name, my profile, my photograph, everything. And what is the corresponding code if you want to see also, you just scroll and there is something called coding, where it's in the coding you will get everything. This way you can learn a little coding also, but I don't need to learn. So I need to simply design the page I want, which picture I want, what I have to upload, everything can, I can decide. Things have become so simple. For example, I can command my car to get parked. Do I need to know the algorithm they have used or the artificial intelligence, whatever they talk? No, not necessarily. In the same way, I tell you, probably out of enthusiasm, our syllabus setting people thought bioinformatics means what are the things? It is about the informatics, about the uh, databases on the nucleotide or the, on the metabolomics. And these people should know some Python, they should know some C++, then only. I mean, probably this is where the students get troubled. Don't need to have all that. I'm telling you very clearly, not every biologist, bioinformatics student, I mean, not bioinformatics student, biotechnology student, need to know this. Why they need to learn Python? If they want, yes, it's interesting. If they want to learn something about Java coding, wonderful. I would always say that travel in all roads and watch, enjoy science. I always say that. But don't burden the students. Ultimately, someone who is going to work in a fermentation technology laboratory or in a company producing a monoclonal antibody and how this person is going to use yeah, Python program. No, no, I'm sorry. So, don't overburden the students that way. But since it is there, Hira, I tell you, you need to have a wonderful mark if you plan for your future career, probably doing an MTech or an MS or a PhD, whatever you want to do. This is the basis. Whether I should learn, now it is there, you learn. And how to make it easy? I think the teacher should help them. Understanding these are biologists, they don't know much, make it interesting. Instead of telling what are the databases available in NCBI or in Japanese, in DBA, all these type of things, instead of telling them, take them through that, show them what are the databases available, how they can browse, why I mean that information is important. For example, if you talk about a diseased gene, for example, in hemoglobin, you have an, uh, you know, a deficiency in the uh, sickle cell anemia. In sickle cell anemia, how the hemoglobin differs, show them. Or a 3D picture of the hemoglobin you show. So, let the students get excited, then they will learn more of bioinformatics. But I can tell you one thing. We don't require millions of bioinformatics data. We need probably millions of biotechnologists. Why I say that? I tell you. For example, in a company of 100, how many receptionists do you require? Even if you are going to be 24 hours working, probably in 3 shifts, 4 shifts, something like that, 3 receptionists will have. Can you have 20 receptionists? How many accounts person do you require? You might have an accounts manager, then an accountant, two accountants. 20 accountants you require for a company of 100? No, that's ridiculous. Or you want everyone to learn accounts? No, not really. I do know little accounts. Okay, double entry system, single entry system, or some economics. How, how should I file my returns for income tax? Yes, I need to know. It's interesting, but my auditor does, why should I do all these things? 
So, where you should draw a line is very important. The curriculum setting people should talk with the industrialists. What the industrialists require? Finally, these students come out and say that no job, no job. And our colleges and the universities are trying to push all our engineering students into BPO industry. I'm not undermining the BPO industries. India's economy has come up with IT. Boom. I will never deny that. But making these people like uh, sophisticated telecallers after studying engineering, let it be mechanical engineering or uh, electronics engineering, electrical engineering or mechanical or civil, whatever, or biotechnology. Don't make them, please. Go into all these uh, telecaller jobs. To equip them for the core industry, give more of biotechnology input. Maybe a molecular biology or an immunology, vaccine development. Prepare everyone in every need. For example, one of my students, I prepared her for the IPR and regulations. She is an expert today. Someone is a fermentation technologist today. Right? So, this is the way we should use bioinformatics tools. You will enjoy bioinformatics tools. I tell you, you definitely will enjoy if you really go through that. But to say that, you need to make a coding, you need to know an Android platform, you need to make some apps for this which can work on your mobile. That's not your job. Frankly, that's not your job. Let's do our job. Oh, I'm clear. I made your self clear now. Your questions are answered. Thank you very much. See you guys on the next video. Sometime we will talk about something else. You can post your questions. I will answer. The question and answer session can be there on our channel, Geomarine Biotechnologies. I would be happy to uh, answer. Not only me, probably some of my senior students also will join me and they will answer you. They might guide you on your job and other things. This is what the ultimate aim. I want great, bio great biotechnologists among you. I want you all to be one of the top biotechnologists in this country. Let's meet on some other occasion, very soon, please post your questions, give like, if you like us, like the video and like uh, uh, things if it is informative, bye bye, see you.